Okay, Ben. So we've been tasked with working out how many carrots would need to be consumed by a reindeer and his team mm -hmm. to get Santa around the world mm -hmm. at that busy time of year. So how much energy they're going to consume in order to fly around and deliver yeah. all those presents? Based on the fact that we know how much energy is in sort of the average carrot. Yeah. Yeah. So I started thinking about this problem, thinking about aerodynamics. This is a field we both work in. So when we talk about aerodynamics, we usually think about lift and drag, aren't we? So lift is the sort of favourable force that picks us up off the ground. In the vertical direction. Exactly. Lifts yeah. us up vertically off the ground. So I think for this problem, we can assume that lift is a sort of a magically produced uh, thing that reindeers and Santa can produce. They don't need wings yeah. like aircraft they can just produce lift, right? It's magic. So let's not worry about lift, yeah. it's just magic. Yeah. But the thing they do have to worry about is the drag, right? Definitely. So Definitely. drag is the resistive force that holds them back. because Yeah, so that's the, the force that if I'm cycling, you know, I feel this wind, I feel mm -hmm. my body resisting my motion in the direction that I'm cycling. Yeah. That's drag. Exactly, and the more drag there is, the more energy that these guys have to consume as they fly around the world. So yeah. I think you've done a bit of a calculation. Yeah, to so predict that. based on my like frontal area of a reindeer mm -hmm. and typical speed, which I think you got from somewhere is about 600 miles per second. Santa would need to get to, to go out to go around the uh, the globe in 24 hours. Was that? Or, yes. Or 31 hours. Um, comes out at 56 billion newtons. Uh, of drag. Of drag. Okay. Yeah, so that's quite a lot. And what, how does that sort of equate to what we experience as, as humans? Yeah, so we, if, you, if you're cycling on a bike at about 10 metres per second, uh, average sort of frontal area of a, of a human comes out at 50 newtons. 50 newtons of drag. Uh, 50 okay. newtons of drag, so it's about, it's about a billion times more uh, drag than mm. you get cycling on a bike. Okay, work, so I need to work out how much energy is required per second. Um, so that's power, so mm -hmm. power being force times velocity. So the power comes out as 54,000 uh, mega, mega joules per second. Mega, mega joules. Mega, mega joules. Okay. okay so what's, a, what's a mega, mega joule? A million joules. Okay. Okay, so that's quite a lot as well. Um, if you multiply that by 31 hours, that's the time taken for Santa to get around the, the globe, um, times 3,600 seconds in one hour then you get a total uh, energy um, equivalent to uh, 7.5 billion billion carats. 7.5 billion billion carats? Yeah. Okay. That's including a conversion factor, of course, saying that we only actually, or our ranger is only capable of using 20% of the, the energy of one carat, because it needs a lot of energy to keep it warm. And all okay, that. okay. So is there anything they can do to sort of reduce the amount of uh, energy they consume, reduce the amount of carrots they have to eat? Yeah, well, if, if a reindeer could kind of make itself a bit more slender, reduce its frontal area, mm -hmm. or it could reduce its drag coefficients, mm -hmm. then that would be two ways. So it needs to make itself more aerodynamic in some way. Okay, so instead of having this kind of upright posture that reindeers usually have, we want them to do something more like a kind of Superman laying down into the wind, yeah. exposing less of their area yeah, to should, the wind. Actually, probably should be tucking its legs in, okay. you know, which is contrary to what you see in the classic what we see image. Yeah. You know. Okay, so I've actually um, done a little experiment on that, and this is uh, from courtesy of one of the PhD students in the department, Tom Fisher. So I'm going to show you this little video here. Um, so this video is an experiment done in the hypersonic wind tunnels here in the school. Okay, so what you can see here, so this is a reindeer in the laying down posture and there's a flow of air moving from left to right across the screen. And this is really high speed flow, so mm. the air is actually moving around Mach 5, so that's five times the speed of sound. Um, the line that you can see sort of protruding around the front of the reindeer, that's actually a shock wave. Oh, yeah, so that's a loss of energy as the flow goes from right. high speed to lower speed flow. And behind the reindeer, we've got this separated flow where the drag is produced. But in this posture, there's much, much less drag being produced than in right. the traditional posture. So he's see in this sort of the laying, it, you know, with his head sort of facing, head into the wind, head into the wind, yeah, legs tucked in, as you said yeah, behind yeah, him. Yeah. So with this kind of posture, you'd expect perhaps 50% the amount of drag that you do in the traditional 50%. upright postures. So that would half the amount of Half the number drag, of carrots. Half the number of carrots. Yeah, so half, half the drag means half the power requirement, mm -hmm. means half the energy required. Yeah. So actually we reduce the number of carrots. So what we're down to now? We'll be 3.25 billion billion carrots. Okay, instead. only 3.25 yeah, billion billion yeah. carrots. So, still possible. Mm. Okay, so what you've shown there is that uh, the frontal area can be reduced mm -hmm. to halve the number of carrots that are required. 
So that got me thinking of what, how else could we actually reduce the number of carrots required. Mm. Well, Santa's frontal area will also grow with the amount of mince pies he eats. So what if Santa instead gave those mince pies to the reindeers? Mince pies have about six times higher calorific value than a carrot. Okay. So we could actually re reduce that number of carrots by six times as well. Mm. Okay. So how many carrots is that now then? Well, it's still 3.5 billion carrots, billion, billion carrots, sorry. But we could actually reduce it to um, just one billion billion mince pies instead. Okay. So to conclude, really the, the message here is that Santa should be using mince pies rather than carrots to fuel his journey around the world. Right. So leave a little post-it note saying mince pies for, for reindeers as well.